Look at the TV. You're, you have to move over, Felix. Yeah, just block me right here. <laughs> you slide over. I'll slide over a little bit more. What do I do with my hands? Yeah, that's why I wasn't sure if I should have paper. No, I don't like this piece of paper. How about you guys stay on this side and I walk in? Right. From behind the, the scene, side. watch. Is it set on a timer? <laughs> it's good. Is it playing? We're probably live right now. Hello. <laughs> Are we live right now? We're live right now. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. Remember I had this problem at Kung Kong? Yeah. You guys were live for like five minutes. I was like, hey, uh, uh, maybe we're live, maybe we're not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I guess we should be looking here. No, I don't We shouldn't be looking at the TV. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to make sure I'm standing straight. Hey, welcome. Welcome to our new show, What's Happening, Oh and My. Oh, my. I'm yes. Jessica, and this is... Abby, hi, hi, how are you? Thanks for tuning in today. It is our first, first live show yes. at What's Happening, Oh and My. We're going to be doing this every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Today we had a little bit of technical difficulties, yes, yes. but Slow we will be 100% back on track next mm -hmm. week. Just in case you missed our introduction, we did have an introduction going around on Facebook and other social media platforms. Uh, we were talking about what we're going to be doing here. So for a few years now, OMI had been the go-to for anything for EMS um, education, nursing education, simulation in EMS or nursing, licensure, accreditation, reciprocity, so many different things. So we decided because the influx of calls and inquiries on social media, we decided if we do a weekly What's Happening OMI, that'll keep you guys up to date and um, save us probably a lot of time from answering questions. So you guys need to subscribe to YouTube channel if you haven't already. Yes. Um, and if you have questions, we'll be able to tweet in, which will keep you abreast as to what's up and coming. But today is our first, first time doing this. We're real excited. Yes. We do have a guest speaker today. Um, I know, Jessica, what's happening right now at OMI? Classes that are starting, classes mm -hmm. that are coming. Um, most importantly, we have a couple CPR classes coming up. Uh, we do get a lot of calls about that, so you may want to write these dates down. Uh, we have a class on January 13th, January 18th, and January 19th, and you can feel free to call the school and sign up today. Uh, they'll also give you the times so that you will have to be here. And that'll work for recertification yes. and initial courses. Mm -hmm. So if you need a CPR card for healthcare provider, those are the dates that we're having the class. If you need to renew your existing CPR certification, same class will cover your needs so that you can do that as well. Just make yes. sure you call and inquire. So what else is going on? Because I know the semester just started. So what other classes do we have going on? Uh, we had our work friendly class start on Monday. So that was exciting. That's yes, Medic them. 49. Yes, yes. they're mm -hmm. thrilled. Um, <laughs> uh, we do have Lake County starting this week, uh, yes. January 11th. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. going to be a fun time. Uh, they're actually off campus, so we'll go over there and see them. Sure. And then we have a Popka paramedic. They are starting next Monday, and they're going to be in housing too. So that means they'll be at their campus. And then um, we have our EMT class is starting this Saturday. That's actually who the CPR course will be with. So if you sign up for CPR, you'll get to hang out with them. And then um, we had our night nurses start also. Um, they jumped in with our accelerated program, so they're getting used to the school feel already. And that's... Yeah, then we have our B-shift class that's back mm -hmm. in session. Yes. Uh, they have two more semesters to go, and then our C-shift nursing class, which they're our senior nurses. They actually graduate this coming May, so we're real excited about yes, that. Yes, we're very excited. So lots of things are happening. What we're going to do on this um, broadcast, what we're going to try and do every week, is we're going to try and keep you guys again abreast as to what's happening in EMS nursing, what's happening here at OMI for recertification, current classes, any of those things. And then we're going to have guest speakers like we mentioned before. Today we are actually in the presence of greatness. I'd like to say the most wonderful yes. person ever. <laughs> so knowledgeable. So it only makes sense because today is our first day 
doing this live broadcast, me and Jessica's What's Happening on My, uh, that we invited the president, CEO of Orlando Medical Institute. If you could help me welcome Felix Marquez. <laughs> <laughs> He's not shy. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good, good. Thanks for coming, Felix. I know you're super, super busy. I wanted to bring you in, first of all, because this is our inaugural live broadcast, and I wanted to hear what's happening in education with Orlando Medical Institute, with your courses. I know last year you did some things. This year you're doing other things. Yeah, um, thank you for having me here mm -hmm. on, on a great show. Um, and once again, what's happening on my, please tune in. Um, Live every Tuesday, yes. 11 o'clock. Yes, Tuesday, on 11 o'clock. YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, Orlando Medical Institute. So I want to talk about what's what's going on. Um, uh, what's the new sexy in EMS, right? <laughs> or in education, I should say. And that is um, the flip class. Uh, I'll get a lot of questions like, what, is, what does that truly mean mm -hmm. when you flip your class? Uh, flip class is uh, when we, we flipping what we do in school. So what we normally do in class traditionally is PowerPoints, you know, lectures, uh, stand in front of the boring class. Stuff. Yeah, there's, some people call it the boring stuff, <laughs> yes. Um, and we take that information and that, that style of teaching and have, that, have them do that at home. And then what they do at home, like study, mm -hmm. they create their own activities, they do things to remember uh, the information, we bring that to class. So we're flipping it. That's what the flip model means. We're flipping the, uh, the way how we deliver education. Um, there's always been a question on, one, how we flip it. Mm -hmm. uh, two, does it really work? So I was fortunate enough to be invited to be part of a research project last year uh, um, on how to uh, see if the flip class really works. So, um, the year before that, we took, we collected the evidence. It was more of a retrospect uh, kind of research project, and we um, took, we did an OB model here at OMI, and there was a bunch of other schools throughout the country who did it as well, and um, we f took half the class and flipped it, and then with the other half we left the traditional. So we had traditional style teaching with the experimental group or control versus experimental, and what we found out, uh, don't want to bore nobody with this, but what we found out is that the flip model actually students learn a whole lot more. Uh, the retention of information is longer, uh, the uh, student being intrigued and, and, and tuned into uh, the lectures or, or the activities seem to be, the student more engaged is what I'm yeah. trying to say, uh, compared to the traditional way. So um, we did the project, showed a lot, showed a significant change uh, in the retention of information, in the flip versus the traditional. So what we decided to do was flip our EMT class. So we flipped it starting January uh, last year. Uh, we did it for a whole year. Um, and actually, it went real well. Uh, our retention here, uh, prior to the flip on the EMT program, mm -hmm was our attrition, that shows attrition was really low. Uh, we'll get a large class, you know, it could be 30 students, 40 students, and then we end up graduating, you know, 17, 18 students. Yeah. So that was a problem. How are we having 30, 40 students come in and only graduating half of that? So almost a 15% of our students will drop. And I think a lot of it is because they struggle to understand the new language of EMS, uh, medical terminology, all this stuff. It's a new language, and we're telling them to be fluent in 16 weeks. And then we're teaching them the way they don't learn. You know, by standing here talking, talking, talking. Uh, kind of like what we're doing now, right? Um, <laughs> so uh, we decided, so we flipped it, we did it, we realized that uh, in our classes, we actually, our attrition increased significantly. Uh, I'm going to say probably almost 150%. So we have mostly all our students staying in class. They're, in, they're engaged. Uh, they're loving it. They, they're learning. Uh, I believe in bringing face value to education, right? And face as an acronym is fun, accessible, clear, and educational. And out of all that, fun seems to be the most important. Why? When you do something fun, it becomes memorable. Mm -hmm. So when we do uh, activities and do all this in class, it's so much fun, they remember it. So, um, so we did that. Mm -hmm. So we looked at the whole year, uh, end of 2017, and we found out that uh, we actually had a lot of students who uh, did well. They passed a, a national registry rate went up significantly. Right, right. So we decided mm -hmm. we wanted to do it our paramedics. So now we are flipping our first paramedic class, which is Medic 49, which is the class at OMI. Mm -hmm. um, started on Monday. Started on Monday. It's a Monday, Tuesday schedule. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, day one. Uh, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, day mm -hmm. two. So More they could pick one of the two days. Monday, Tuesday mm -hmm. is day one. They could come either one. They don't have to do both. Yeah. And then Thursday, Friday as well. 
So um, we're excited we did it. Um, actually, we took the whole month of December with me and my uh, educating staff, educator staff, uh, my faculty, I should say, and we did a whole bunch of podcasts. We podcast in every single chapter. What a cool thing was, um, not only we podcast, we're doing 30 minute, 45 minute segments. Uh, if the chapter is really long, we broke it, broke it up into right. three, uh, uh, two to three parts. And then after that podcast, we did uh, what's called the All My Look Back. The All My Look Back is us now sitting with the person who did the podcast, whether we one of our doctors, our medical director, where she did some awesome uh, podcasts and her residents as well. Um, and then or our instructor, either one, whether it be our medical director, the, the resident, or our instructors, after they did the podcast, we sat and we talked about that podcast we dissect it you know questions that probably students would bring up uh ways to remember certain things uh emphasize on key points so that look back does that kind of is a oversee of um what uh the podcast is trying to deliver and uh, these podcasts i'm sorry to do these podcasts are available to the students who they're, they're, unfortunately they're available to the student only mm -hmm. at omi but um we have gotten a lot of um uh, requests, requests through mm -hmm. Facebook, uh, through our social media, man, because some of these be available. So what we're going to do is, uh, what we plan to do for this year, so subscribe, uh, is we're going to go ahead and put a lot of this education up for free so people could utilize it. And then probably next year we're going to start a subscription. So sure. a paid subscription where they can actually um, get all these podcasts, new podcasts, what's up and new, uh, what's up and coming in EMS and education, a lot of professional development for people who are paramedics, EMTs, nurses out there, and then get CEUs from it as well. Right. So, I mean, it could be something as simple as a, a $5 a month subscription mm -hmm. for all this phenomenal content. So you want to yeah. make sure you stay tuned on to this broadcast so that we can keep your breast as to when that's going to be up and running yeah. for you guys. Yeah, you but we are, gonna, we are going to throw some, some lectures out. Sure. Uh, uh, me and Mike Islop, one of my instructors, we did a uh, awesome uh, podcast, the hour long, it's a very long podcast on drug calculations. And the reason why it's so long is we showed them two different formulas. We showed them my formula, which is the FSF, Felix's mm -hmm. Simple Formula, and then Mike uses the master formula. So we compared them, we showed both, we got mm -hmm. very detailed, mm -hmm. made it a fun presentation. If you haven't seen the podcast, check it out. It is on uh, Orlando Medical Institute's YouTube channel. Uh, it really breaks down uh, drug pharmacology or drug calculations. So I'll take a peek at that. So that's what we're doing, and, and we've been busy uh, doing that, putting that whole flip model together. So you guys, for sure, if you have any questions about this, you can leave comments on this broadcast. You can also tweet in your questions. Uh, Jess, our, our social media platforms, they are... Uh, you can uh, follow us on Twitter at OMIEMSEDU. It's the same for Snapchat, OMIEMSEDU, add us. And then um, for Facebook, it's OMIEMSEDU. And also for Instagram, too, it's OMIEMSEDU. So feel free to send us questions and all that good stuff. I do have a question to put Felix on the spot. I'm sure he's got lots to talk about. So now that you're flipping the paramedic class, <laughs> Now that you're flipping the paramedic class, which is super, super exciting because I know enrollment increased when our EMTs found out you were flipping the paramedic class, but I've gotten recent questions. Are you going to flip nursing? Oof. Oof. Well, I'm going to say yes. Why? Because I am a flipaholic. <laughs> uh, so that's why I consider myself a flipaholic and I don't, I'm not in the recovery stage. So I'm going to continue <laughs> it. Um, so we're looking, uh, I'm looking to finish this year. See, because uh, obviously we're, gonna, we're in the alpha phase of this flip class for the paramedics. So we're going to look at uh, this first semester, me and our medical director, Dr. Uh, Ayana Walker and her residents are going to do a retrospect study on the first semester. After we do that, we're going to dissect and see what worked, what didn't work, what we need to change, and then we're going to get into the beta phase. We're hoping to start the beta phase in August and then run that last semester uh, with that new, with the changes and see how that goes. Once we do that, we should be full-fledged full running with it, and then uh, then we're going to start looking at flipping uh, the nursing uh, classes. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work on my staff, a lot of work on myself, but actually it's, it's, it's well worth it. So I'm excited. Yes, a lot of students from my EMT class 
uh, kind of pushed me. They were like, Felix, we love we love the flip BMT. I swear to God, if you do the flip, I'll come to medic school. Other than that, I don't and they're plan. here. And they're and actually they here. Yeah. So um, that's something that uh, tells me that it works. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it tells me that uh, they're engaged in the learning. So that excites me. When I have mm -hmm. students that tell me that excites me to want to do something more. So just to give you a little snippet too, I forgot to mention is mm -hmm. what are some activities we do in a flip class? We got our family feud. So we got the game family feud that we put at medical we education, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yes, students do as well. We Very do Jeopardy. Yeah. Um, we do uh, casino activity games. Um, we do uh, draw it, um, draw it or act it. So what the draw <laughs> like to act it is, is it's a, a bunch of cards off mm -hmm. the topic. Let's say we talked about airway. The okay. podcast is airway. They did all their homework for airway. They did the airway organizers. We have a lot of organizers. So an organizer is, it organizes symptoms. It organizes uh, uh, assessment, it organizes treatment. So for instance, they'll say, uh, they'll say pneumonia, right? So mm -hmm. pneumonia is here, asthma, COPD, has all the diseases. Then you has the organizers will say, okay, wheezing. Which one of those will wheeze? You put the check mark and it says rails. Which one will have rails? Which one will be edema? So they'll check and then all, they might say, what are the signs and symptoms for each one of those? You write it in. What's the assessment you will assess that's specific to that disease? What's the treatment that's specific to that disease? So it's an organizer. They do it at home from homework, do it using their book. They come to class and that's an activity we go over and we talk about it so that's something like that so let's say we did airway now we come in uh and we'll do the draw it or, or act it so they have a bunch of cards laminated cards and they'll flip a card and they'll say tripod act it so now they have to go in front of the class and uh -huh. they gotta and then the students like tripod mm -hmm. so they they, they start right. to understand it so that it becomes fun it's almost like charades yeah. sure, now sure. it could be something different and now they have to draw it on the board and get creative and try to draw it where the students could uh and there's no prerequisites to acting or an no, art class no, 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 it's sorry. just bring what you got yeah. we take abstract oh, artists if you're an abstract <laughs> artist that's fine just take figures welcome. Words. everyone's the, welcome the objective is to try to figure find ways creative ways sounds to, like a good time yeah. so we have a lot of fun in class mm -hmm. uh, we have the casino game we also have a, a find your partner vocabulary so uh, one side of the class half the class will get a vocabulary word mm -hmm. and then they got to find their partner who has the definition mm -hmm. oh wow so now they say so we do activities like that so sure, those are the kind sure. of stuff we do to engage in enhanced learning uh, we do live patient simulation mm -hmm. uh, we do um, a lot of simulation but we no longer do simulation on the fly no more it's structured simulation sure. so right. we're talking about airway we did airway activities well then the simulation focuses on airway Right, so it's more realistic as opposed Absolutely. to some crazy thing that happens that wouldn't happen in a million years, possibly. So we're kind of getting away from um, the auditorial type of teaching, mm -hmm. meaning talking, 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 and we're getting yeah. more into the visual and the kinesthetic type mm -hmm. of teaching, which is the hands-on, because uh, that's how most people learn, how through remember, visual yeah. and through uh, actually doing it. So that's what we're, that, those are the senses and the domains we want to focus on mainly. Um, and that's, that's, that's our game plan. I think it's, we've been real successful with the EMT, mm -hmm. and I have no doubt we're going to be super successful with the paramedic. I yeah. agree. And the paramedic program had already been successful yeah. in yeah. itself. But we go, we, so we this is just improve, making a yeah. good program even better. I'm all about it. So. And once I'm done with that, I'm sure I'm going to find something to do to make it even better. Why so, not? Keep yeah. things moving. Well, Thanks. thank you so much for coming out and taking some time because I know how busy you are. Yeah. I'm sure you've got some flipping to do. Yeah, yeah. And so I appreciate you taking a moment to talk to us. <laughs> uh, you guys, again, just to let you know, we Orlando Medical Institute, you can go to our website. It's www.omi.edu. You can give us a call. Uh, our telephone number is 407 251 0007. We offer EMT courses. We have two different schedules, actually three, because we have a day a class, a night class, and a Saturday class. We offer paramedic. We have three different schedules for that as well. Uh, we offer registered nursing and continuing education. So if you are not sure what you want to do, you're trying to start a career in your mass, you're just you're ready to get set in that prof that profession of registered nursing, this is your one-stop shop. This is where you need to come. And if you have questions for Felix, again, 
You can go to our social media mm -hmm. sites, right, Jess? You can go to Twitter, uh, message us some questions, and we'll definitely answer those on our next show for yeah. you. Yeah, anything that you have, even if it's for Felix, if it's about the school, about mm -hmm. our programs, anything of that nature, when enrollment is, um, costs for the programs, we're more than happy to answer those questions on our next show. If you have questions for Felix, we're more than happy to go ahead and get those answers for you. And if you tune in next week, we'll have those answers, and we'll have some more updated information. And maybe we could bring a student on down the line and see how the flip class yeah. is going for them. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could bring them on to the Yeah, we're also show. going to be doing student of the month and instructor of the month. So we'll oh, have cool. those. Yeah, so tune in for that. that. So yes. that's exciting. So any of my students or my instructors watching right now, step up your game. You better. Because we're going to be <laughs> checking you out to see. And there's going to come with some rewards, some yes. cool stuff with uh, being amazing. It's always, you should be mm. rewarded when you're amazing. So stay tuned for that. But yes. I think this is it for today. I'm so excited that you guys tuned in. Thanks again, Felix. Thanks, Jessica, for yes, your time. Thanks. And we'll be here next week, 11 a.m. every Tuesday. <laughs> subscribe to our YouTube yes, channel. Subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.